looking at the muscles of the shoulder and arm. Again, you may have to stretch out your neck and arm just to get some tension in these muscles and more easily separate them. We have our cervical trapezius and our spinal trapezius. This muscle stretches all the way back here. It's kind of a wing from the spine of the scapula across the back. Down below the scapula, we have the latissimus dorsi, the very large, flat muscle, latissimus, the most flat. And on the scapula itself, we have a number of things. So remember, we have our spinal trapezius on the spine of the scapula. Above the spine, filling that in a supraspinous fossa, we have the supraspinatus muscle. Below the spine, we have the infraspinatus muscle in that infraspinous fossa. Now that muscle stretches over that whole sub uh, infraspinous fossa. It is overlaid by the spinal deltoid muscle. So it's a thinner sheet kind of coming across. On the bottom edge of the scapula, if you move your latissimus dorsi out of the way, you can see a large teres major going from that bottom back edge of the scapula up to the humerus, and teres minor. You can see if you look just in that armpit area and separate out a small muscle up there. On the front of the scapula, underneath our cervical trapezius, and pretty much <laughs> fused with it, you have to um, art artificially separate them. We have our homo transversarius coming up forward to the neck. It's also the levator sc scapulae ventralis. And if you push those aside a little bit, we can see this triangular muscle at the top of the shoulder right here. This is our acromiodeltoid going from the acromion of the scapula to the deltoid ridge, the chromio deltoid.